Hello. What are you doing today? Beer Bear. Let's try this game out. Been on my list for a while. Turn the music down a little bit. How are you doing? Hopefully having a good day. My name is The Creatures. I don't know how you found me. Stick around. Also, do yourself a favor. Be kind. And if you uh, come across any creator that you're watching a little bit of their video, do the thumbs up. It really helps them out. Because they're, they're streaming, putting a lot of effort into their stuff for you. Taking the time so you can hang out and watch some free, usually on YouTube if you're not paying. Creative art. So, yeah. I know you're a good person and you, you do that. Becoming closer and closer to fall. I'm drinking a pumpkin chocolate coffee that I made. It's really, really good. Look at our video. We got full screen. Okay. Local co-op. That's cool. You can play that with somebody. Okay, the art's really cool. Oh, finally. I thought for a second you'd never wake up, little one. I think those dots are just like making it load. Can't switch it. Let's see. I won't do anything. How iconic that would have been, wouldn't it? Oh, okay. I found the button that makes it move. The spirit bearer. Well, that is what I've been until you arrived, or your arrival. I can't say that I'm sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. I love the name Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Daffodil. Aw, Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You'll be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nevertheless. Go fetch the stray spirit stranded on the island, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the ever door. The alpha where everything starts. The omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now be careful with it. 
really careful. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. Everlight will help you throughout your travels. Look at the little kitty. It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. I have a couple of questions. Like, where did I come from? Hope is a flame. The light that never falters the beacon of eternity it is heavy and inconvenient but there is no greater duty than this one the faith of lost souls rests on your shoulders look i was overwhelmed too at first just try to keep your focus take it one step at a time you will soon get used to this place accustomed to these moments you are the new spirit fairers after all Oh, one last thing. Once I'm gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Oh yeah, he is in a ship. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I'm gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. Man, he's really not a lot of help. <laughs> It's time, here I go. So long, Stella. Good luck, you will need it. Bye bye. I go rowing. Why did I have to find a boat? I was in a boat. Yeah. I like how this moves. Just jump. Okay. Press A to jump. To while jumping to climb platforms, and press down to drop. Okay. Okay. Stella, it really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Not impressed, huh? You look good. Okay, all right. And a daffodil is here too. I see. Sorry, I was thought I was gonna yawn. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Oh, it might not be that obvious after all. It's me. When? Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means, oh, you are the new spirit fair. You are the one replacing, the, was it Chiron? Is that how you said his name? I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have an Everlight now, of course. See that boat over there? Oh, that's a cool boat. That's the one. It's obviously slightly uh, shabby, but let's commander, commandeer it. 
Never said I knew how to read. Gain control of your streams with Loopy Deck. The new Streamlabs plugin for Loopy Deck puts all your streaming controls at your fingertips. Use code. Okay, cool. I wager it. It will work since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. I probably didn't mean to jump. No fall damage. Okay. Just seeing if there is anything I can do. I see a chain there. Can't do anything with it. Okay, here, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Gwen, wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than a impicitated. And, and yeah, you know what I mean. So the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Good. And as your the spirit fair, welcome stray spirits is your new job. Welcoming. And once aboard abroad, there will assume they will assume their true forms. So once they are aboard the ship. Okay, cool. Well that's my theory anyway. Or are you looking at me like that? You need to come here and give me a hug. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Oh no. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt, who I'm gonna butcher names. Petty, Pet, Unina? It's an old yard. A beautiful and organized testament to someone's laziness. Or a virtual possibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. He's your local shipwreck and his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. You should hear Albert's ship. You should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. Why do I know all this? Well, I was planning, a, a, planning an escape, remember? And you know me. I plan things. I go open it up the Cavastella. The map projector should be simple enough to use and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay. Be recent activities. Alt Harbor. Zoom out a little bit. Albert Shipyard. Everdoor. Okay. Confirm travel. All right, let's go.
This is kind of cool. Is this like the loading screen? <laughs> I wish I could. Can I zoom out? Nope. Hey, pet the kitty? Nope. Really nothing here, but if I go in here, it shows me traveling. Nice little cozy area. So what do we do? That's kind of a cool animation, but travel takes forever. I get it, we're in a boat. I guess you, they want you to interact with other things around you. I understand the ship is powered by Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Is it Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Bearers, this place, this boat, me being here? It's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I want to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I know, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Fishing rod. Oh yeah, you can totally fish back here. So while the ship is sailing, can I fish? Oh, you can pay your kitty. Um, I see my boat there. Do I get on my boat to travel? <laughs> I swam off green. Well, that answer my question, I won't die in the water. I need to get back on the ship. That's how you get back up on the ship. Okay. Let's see, do we talk to you? Okay, 
so... Oh, I guess I wasn't there all the way? That's interesting. Why did it make me stop? Maybe I uh, put the marker right before it. Here we are. Now head down to Albert's shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. That's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of, considering the smell. It's at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Okay, so now I can do this. I think I wanted to row the other way. Set sail, Captain. Okay. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipping, shipbuilding for ages. Should I assu assume you are the new Spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. When was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ah, let me see what you have here. Nice little. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I've built some time ago and stored it in my old shipyard. Well, my ship looks really big compared to us. Funny how it looks exactly. Okay, I already read that. The Charon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything, but the customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous ship. Old habits die hard, but don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call it, call this alone. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. Anyways, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. First thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. Okay, but the sub. God, I can't read. Upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Quest. Alright, beginner. Yeah, cost zero. Obvious. So this becomes a guest house, a garden, a field, and a kitchen. Sawmill loom foundry. Orchard sheep brow windmill. Chicken coop lounge. Uh, crusher, smitty, cow stall, cellar. And what's this at the bottom? So do you need map log and limestone plus 400? It looks like you might. Okay. Boat size, the exploring krill. Is a small size boat that will always get you where you want. Okay, mid-size, large-size. I will drift you in out of troubled waters. This one will make you slip away in style. This one can't be beat. And this one fights waves. Mailbox. It takes some time to write to your pen pals. So you, may, you need maple plank, linen, lighting in a bottle. Okay. You'll be able to build and edit your uh, buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. All right. Building 101. Finally. Good. Abra gave it to you for free. And he... And he said he loaned the boat to you? Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyways, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Clean up this deck. 
you can go to your blueprint table above your captain or your cabin and select the move option in it you'll be able to remove any buildings and get back resources go for it all the way down here okay nice Play swap salvage. Cool. You are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the following resources: old carpet, old shoe, empty bottle, maple, log. All right. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary, a necessary amenity. Newly welcome spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it'd be sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff, and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. So do I go back here? Oh, oh yeah, okay, so I can do all of it here. Uh, kitchen, garden. Field. Okay, so I have to use the bumpers. So they'll tell me the required materials down at the bottom. Definitely need a kitchen. There we go. The kitchen, I need bright jelly. So the guest house is very pretty. It, it has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now at least I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait, what is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry, very hungry. You know how terrible cook I am? But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have fished a few fishes already. The trouble is I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fishbone and never survive. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as it sounds. Absurd. Absurd. As served. <laughs> yes. You should keep on using this blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as necessary resources. Damn. You required bright jelly, and there is only one way to get it. Fishing? I, look, I should told you when I first met you, something scares the hell out of me. A dark presence and even a coward, coward, yeah, for a man. I avoid the shallows, all light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there is no other option. I have to face my fears, but you're here with me. I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. Okay. All right, let's travel. Okay, so... Looks like she needs my attention. Stella! Ah, oh, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Herbalite being well lit light. Or some other te technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished businesses and just chill on the deck. 
under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep too in that cozy little room atop your cabin. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring that bell, big bell over there if you wake to wake people up. Remember, I only do it at the right time. Early morning should be should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. All right, thirty minutes of Spirit Fair. That's fun. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good day. I'm gonna end it there. If you're still hanging around. Like, subscribe. That just means you're a kind person, and I appreciate you being kind to other souls. Trying to entertain you. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah.